Hey guys, I say hello from the beautiful city of Amsterdam, where the DIA, the Digital Insurance Agenda Conference, took place. And well, Amsterdam, with its beautiful Krachtel, is always a good address to go to visit and to do a conference. First things first. At this year's DIA, there have not been yet groundbreaking announcements, no super funding, no new IPO plans, no expansion. But I actually would have expected some major announcement from some keynote presenters, uh, especially to share more insights into their plans with the company and the announcement over the last week. So I would have loved to get to hear some uh, more details about um, entering new markets. But let me share with you the three things I love. It was probably the hottest conference ever. Uh, I mean, not only from the content side, you have other great conferences around the world. I was thinking about the hottest day of the year. And guess who forgot his shorts at home? Number two. The second thing I learned is you see more and more the maturity of the industry. You have um, certain topics repeating. You have certain um, um, intro texts maturing, which is a really nice thing. It's uh, great. You see professionalization in a lot of parts. You see also incumbent structuring their innovation efforts and cooperation with startups. So in, in general, you see a maturing, maturing phase of the insurance, intro tech and innovation. Um, landscape now also incumbents finally share their stories on stages share what they have been doing the last two three five years uh, in their space and really also share best practice and I think it's a super cool super cool um, uh, trend we see number three it was a really funny situation I saw a guy from an insurer I had discussions two years ago and as well as the insurer as well as this person were denying all changes that were happening the Funnily enough, they said about Lemonade, they're, annoying, they're never going to be a threat or never come to Germany and see what happened. So what I saw is that this guy, and that they are now starting to attend these events too, so even the laggards are arriving now. Um, I don't think, and I for a fact know that they're not doing really much, but at least they you know, are being forced to go to these events they made fun of two years ago. So you had the first wave of innovators from the InsurTech and in the incumbent side, and then you had the second phase of incumbents doing really internal innovation and also um, going to, to events like that and sharing their stories behind the scenes. And then you have some laggards showing up at these events, and I think that's a really funny coincidence and I see that this shows also the maturity of the whole scene. What I expect next is a phase of quietness, of implementation, of execution, and uh, maybe we will see some uh, true innovation from inside the industry. I'm betting also on some sh external shock, I'm not sure about it. Let's see. All in all, the DIA in Amsterdam is an awesome conference. Um, I had the opportunity to network a lot, to meet a lot of friends or a lot of people that have become friends over the years. I have really to say the InsurTech community around the world is a super cool, amazing group of people always helping each other, uh, sharing best practices, sharing knowledge, even though we're sometimes, of course, um, competitors or there are competitive competing situations. So I see a lot of a positivity there, only very few negative examples and people uh, I would not drink a coffee with. So, but really a tremendous amount of awesome people. Um, it's fun to meet, fun to chat, fun to help. Um, and, and so everybody has not experienced that yet. So for everybody else, um, make sure to come to conferences like the DIA and a big, big congratulations to Reggie and Roger and the whole team that put together this event and this cool location with great keynote speakers, great um, startups, and great um, people to meet. So again, guys, thank you very much and see you at your next conference. So, if you made it to here, it means you really like the video. It would mean the world to me if you could hit the subscribe button down here or sign up for a newsletter so we can give you all the hottest, newest trends we scout around the world for free even sooner.